We saw Maria and Tom reunite at the reunion and I feel like that was the first time that they had seen each other since the wedding or since they started doing the press run. Like the tension between them, the body language, especially for Maria, Maria. It feels like Maria hates Tom. She could not look at him in the eye. I don't think she did once. Like Tom was looking at Maria, you know, trying to create a bit of warmth, a bit of friendliness, but you could feel the, the, the wall of tension that Maria was setting in between. In the reunion, they do address Tom's comments towards Maria post-wedding, specifically when he was talking about, you know, the values that he doesn't want Maria teaching to their hypothetical potential kids if they were to get married, the whole, you know, I wouldn't want her teaching my lads that when they first start dating, they should pay for everything. And I wouldn't want her teaching my daughters that they shouldn't be independent and that, you know, a guy should pay for everything, that whole thing. And Maria basically calls him out and basically said that she felt like he was indirecting her family and specifically indirecting the women in her family and i absolutely agree he was indirecting her and her family and it was incredibly misogynistic like maria is a businesswoman she has her own business and she's probably supporting her mum now that her dad is dead and i'm assuming the other sister is as well so this whole i want you know i want to teach my daughters that they should be strong independent women insinuating that maria is not is a big fat insult and it just came across very misogynistic very judgy very much like he looked down upon maria and her family they also address the whole uh, maria's mum situation how like basically maria's mum was you know making sure that he was good on their wedding day or for him to turn around and basically just cuss out her family. And Maria said that it just made her angry and it still makes her angry. And you can see that Maria is still pissed off. She also clarified in the reunion that she wouldn't have expected not to contribute anything. She wouldn't have expected Tom to pay for like her luxury items and stuff like that. Like she still, you know, would have contributed to the family. So she wanted to set that record straight. And even though I do think it's clear that Maria wants a provider and wouldn't be mad at somebody 100% paying the bills, like I said, I feel like she went into this experiment willing to be flexible. Like I said, we're in the UK. A lot of these British men go 50-50. So I think Maria was willing to contribute, but I think maybe she wanted to contribute things in accordance to equity, in accordance to their incomes, but Tom wasn't going for that. I really wish they addressed the whole thing about Tom basically wanting Maria to contribute to his mortgage, but wanted to not give her equity, like essentially, you know, take the contributions and cheat her out of equity. I wish they had addressed that. And I wish they really fleshed out, like, what does equality actually mean to Tom? Like, does it go past finances? Like, how, what does he think about sharing childcare? What does he think about, you know, would he take time out of, you know, his job as a high powered executive who makes all of this money to contribute to the childcare, contribute to the domestic duties? Would he do that? I wish they dived a bit further because, because I suspect that his whole 50-50 equality thing only goes to finances and nothing else. I also feel like Tom was having a little flirt in the reunion like he was trying to flirt with her trying to do a little bit of banter you know get that ego boost from you know having a flirt with a beautiful young woman i saw that tom which brings me on to my point that i also wish that they addressed that you know tom was talking about how he thought that maria was going to be superficial because she was a makeup artist but he has been superficial from the very beginning like he literally only picked maria because he wanted this sexy moroccan wife like that was literally the core reason. The fact that when he saw Natasha after basically thinking she was gonna be some plain bitch, he was like, oh, she's a lot more glamorous than I thought she was gonna be. Why was that not addressed? Because that's another thing with these 50-50 men. They say they want equality. They want women to now contribute financially, but they still want them to perform femininity. They still want women to perform beauty. That still needs to be upheld. And women upholding in beauty is not cheap, you know, because Tom Damo knows he wouldn't want a wife that was wearing no makeup, 
wearing plain clothes. I find that very interesting. But I feel like he definitely has, you know, some self-awareness. Like he basically said, because he was raised by a single mom, he didn't have like a masculine male figure in his life. Um, and, you know, that has had some negative effects. Now, Tom actually does admit that he was judgmental and some of the things that he said wasn't necessarily right. He doesn't specify and I don't think he actually apologises for what he says. I feel like he probably still believes what he initially said. But yeah, it seems like Maria has a lot of animosity towards Tom. It seems like she hates his guts. I think Tom still is attracted to Maria. But ultimately, like, I think they can both agree that it was for the best that they didn't get married. And they probably won't be friends after this. But I got to hear from you guys. What did we think about the whole Maria and Tom segment? Is Maria justified to still hold some animosity towards Tom? Do you feel like she just needs to let it go? Um, could we see them rekindling something or no? What are we thinking about Tom? Let me know what your thoughts are. And we definitely saw them.